Hello uh, guys, welcome to a game called Dungeon Quest. Um, this game is a really fun game. It's, uh, it, yeah, as you can see, as I already said, it's called Dungeon Quest. It's a really fun game. You have to fight monsters and you get loot from reading the dungeons. And um, the more stronger you get, the better dungeons you can move on to and power yourself up like crazy. So, um, yeah, let's uh, get into it. I've played this level, I've played the game before, but since uh, it's, um, what do you call it? Since, um, since I want to do something for my channel, I think I'm going to start on a new account for this time. So, personally, what I think, at the beginning, Mage is the best. So, I'm going to sell my sword in this. The taunt doesn't work unless you're, the taunt doesn't do anything unless you're actually, um, playing with, like, people, um, playing with other people. So for now we're just gonna actually, you know, we should go collect the daily reward. It's always good to get, collect your daily reward either right when you start or like a couple minutes after you start. Like once you're like a couple like you're a higher level kind of. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip this armor. This sword we do not need because we don't use swords. Um and if you don't know how to upgrade your armor and stuff, you have to unequip it, so And the leaderboards are crazy. Somebody's level two hundred and two, which is uh, really high. The best that I've seen was like 172, I think. Um, I don't know if he's on the leaderboards, but maybe. I'll go check right now. Alright, so we have that upgraded now. Let's go check if uh, that person I saw was on the leaderboards. I don't think I remember their name. Uh, no, this is... Like, scroll down. It's top 100? Yeah, it's only top 100. So, it goes to 189. That's it, though. Hold on, before the video progresses any further, I'll, I just wanted to show you the tutorial and everything. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and show that right now. So here is the tutorial, um, if, if you guys want that. This is the tutorial, if, uh, if you don't want this, skip to this time right here, it's showing up on the screen right now. Um, like just in case you already know how to play, so uh, yeah. So this is, this is how it is. Spell power abilities. Fireball. Cast fireball that explodes on hit, dealing damage to all nearby enemies. Scales of spell power. And it sells, you know. And the ability scale with spell power, right? And there's the physical power abilities. Whirlwind. Spin at high speeds, hitting everything around you. Scales with physical damage. Some abilities scale with physical power. Weapon stats. This is the bronze dagger. Physical damage 6, spell, da spell power 1. Increases increases damage of abilities that scale with physical power. See if you see up there. Inc and this increases damage of abilities that scale with spell power. And so yeah. Anyways, let's go right here. I'm just upgrade this starter wand because I like the starter wand. Starter wand. Hey, 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 no, no, I don't want that. Hey, 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 hey. There. Level we'll action and two abilities. We don't use the sword at first because the mage is better on and on early game. See, if you have spell power, then you don't really do that much damage with your sword. But if you have um, a sword, then you do damage with your, you know, with your swing. But see, with, when you're when you're using a sword, you don't do that much damage with the fireball. But when you're using a wand. You, uh, you, you do a lot more with the fireball. See, it was 5 to 24. 5 with the sword, 24 with the wand. See, you get it? Alright. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do easy on the tutorial, don't you? Sorry to hear this like this. It's just because I got my new mouse recently and now I'm just using it. So, shift lock uh, is highly recommended as it says up there. Right here. So I use shift lock a lot. And let's go. So this is what you're supposed to do. You fight them, you know. I could use this, even though it's a warrior skill, you still can use it. It's just, it won't be the best, you know, you should feel. Um, let me see. The fireball has a good cooldown. That's why I think of the mage skill to be the best. I don't know why I use my whirlwind right there. There's no point to that. See, I just got a, a, a level up, so. What happens when you level up, as you can see, my uh, health just uh, went right back up because every time you level up, you will heal. So click this thing is heal points. Basically, what you can do is put in any point. Stamina will increase health. 
the spell power will increase the power of the of spell, you know. And then physical power will uh, increase physical damage, you know. So, let's go and do spell power, and here's the boss fight. So, we're just gonna go ahead and fight him, to show you, um, what it looks like. So, see, now it was like 25 before, now it's 31 because I used that skill point. The dungeons aren't as easy as the tutorial. They're a little bit harder. This one's really short. Just to give you the glimpse of what actually happens, you know? So, um, that's, that'll, that's, a, that's gonna be the only one that I'm doing for the tutorial. I'm not gonna be doing the medium or the hard one. Because, uh, there's really no point. So, these are skill points, right? And, yeah, it's, uh, it's cool. You can just kinda do whatever now. Um, so, yeah. Uh, see you back in the uh, dungeon. Er, I'll see you back there. Uh, so yeah, let's go into a dungeon. We're gonna have a desert temple, easy hardcore. Because hardcore gives you double the loot, but you only have one life. The normal one, you have infinite lives, except except every time you die, it takes nine minus uh, ten seconds away from your um. Takes ten seconds away from the time that you time in uh i forgot what you call it and the, the time you know there's a time whenever you have the dungeon anyways uh if you're gonna play this game for yourself as soon as you go into dungeon i want you to go right over here see the doors right there walk to this corner and then to this corner because there is something behind here there's an egg so and then you could just reset your character um, if you're in hardcore, you could still reset your character, just not when you're in the dungeon. Before the dungeon, before you press start, then you can't, uh, where'd the start button go? I don't know. Uh, I think it glitched, because I reset. It should show up. It should, it should. I don't think it will, though. Um, well, uh, let me fix that. Alrighty, so, uh, yeah, uh, well, what have we learned from this? Do not reset your character whenever you get the egg. Do not. Yeah, please. So, we're gonna go ahead and start the dungeon. Um, we have our stuff right here, you know. And, let's go. So, I already do quite a bit of damage, because I have my helmet upgraded in spell power. And if you watch the tutorial, then you'll know why. Because if you didn't know, if you upgrade your armor in a certain class that you're in, like spell, or like mage, or physical power, if you upgrade it in, if you're a mage and you upgrade it in physical, I mean mage power, which is spell power, it'll um, be good. So, it'll, it'll like increase your damage by a ton. I only learned that like in the third dungeon. Uh, there's like 10 dungeons now, so it's pretty, pretty old. I think it's like a year and a half old. It's a really fun game. It used to be really popular back then. I didn't know it was like 50,000 people playing at a time. So, yeah. We're just gonna get these monsters. Um, this game becomes really cool later on when you have better, like, uh, what do you call it? Like when you have better, what do you call it? I, uh, when you have better loot. I just can't speak right now. I don't really have the ability to talk. I'm playing. I do, but like, it only on certain games. I should probably stop focusing too much on the game. Um, more on the talking. So, hopefully this video turns out okay, because this is my first time doing like a Roblox kind of gameplay video. I did scratch area, if you guys remember that. Um, that game was fun. I don't think I'm... I don't know if i'll play it again i mean I, I do play it still but i mean like i don't know if i'll record another video on it again it's just kind of an introduction you know introduction not introduction what's an introduction so yeah i've already done 3000 uh damage and i've already only taken 53 damage so i'm just going to defeat this boss he's a uh, He's a pretty powerful as long as you don't on it. As long as you don't get hit by him, you should be okay. But um, I mean you can get hit by him, see he still does quite a bit of damage, but you know. 
Um, if you don't know, armor is what gives you your source of, uh, your, your health. Because it always comes with health, no matter what. There's three types of armor. Um, there's three types of armor. The armor that has, um, what do you call it? The armor that has a lot of health on it, and the other stats are just kind of low. Um, the armor that has spell on it, and the others are just kind of low. And the armor that has physical power on it, and the others are just kind of low. Anyway, so we just completed the boss. Um, we're going to put our points in spell power, and uh, let's go ahead and go back to lobby and see what we got. So yeah, um, here we are back at lobby, and this is what we got. We got a novice wand that has zero physical damage, but has 13 spell power, which is uh, cool. And we have the bronze dagger, which is seven physical damage and two spell power, which is kind of bad because I'm not using, I'm not going with the warrior class. So yeah. Maybe I'll do a warrior class playthrough. Um, maybe I'll do a warrior class playthrough. But yeah, maybe I'll do a warrior class playthrough as after this playthrough. But uh, yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and upgrade our wand, our new wand, because this one's better than our current one. Because Here's the upgrade, it's 17, this one is it upgraded too. This is, this is double this, more than double. So now what we can do is, now that we're using this one, we can go ahead with our old one, and we can go ahead and put the, the old one in the cell, and we can sell it for money. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go into our dungeon. As you can see, I'm level four now, from completing that. And after this dungeon in hardcore, I should be able to go to medium now. So, uh, yeah, let's go. So here we are going, um, you know, into uh, the dungeon again. What I like to do is sometimes I'll just defeat them group by group. Or sometimes I'll bring them like this. I'll group them up. So, yeah. Let's go and get these guys. Uh, and let's... See? 46 EXP right there. It's just really satisfying to get them all at once because you don't have to just keep getting the EXP separately. It's just it's just really satisfying for, with a really big number. So this game gets really crazy later on. Um, this like monsters that shoot at you. Um, it's, it's, as you, if you watch the tutorial, there were uh, shooting monsters that shot stuff at me. You know. And this is wall glitch on this dungeon, on this level on the dungeon, where you can uh, shoot through the walls. Um, it's, uh, it's a really good glitch because you don't get hurt, but the other monsters do get hurt as long as you have a ranged skill. Well, it's not really, you don't really have to have a ranged skill, but um, it could be any skill. And as long as the wall is pretty thin, you could still do it. On this wall, I always hide behind this pillar because the spell, you know, go through walls. And then we just kill those. And there's more over here. See, if I didn't do that wall glitch over um, there, I would have had to go down this way, down there, defeat them, and then go back this way. So uh, that'd be a waste of time. So why not just defeat them with the wall glitch, you know? It's just the whole point of glitches, you know? Um, sometimes they're just, um, sometimes. See, this glitch has been in the game since the very start. And he. The owner, B. Caffey, still has yet to fix it. I don't think he ever is, actually. So, that's nice. We're nice. Everybody's nice. Wait, what? They just disappeared. <coughs> I killed one bunch, and then the rest just disappeared with no dying animation. They just went, no, I don't. I need to fix that sound. Yeah, there we go. Believe it or not, that was not a sound effect. <clears throat> okay, so here we are at the boss again. Hopefully, we get another fireball, because if another fireball would be cool, like, imagine me just dual wielding fireballs. Like, it's just really cool. So as you can see, with all the gear that I have now, and the spell power that I have, I can pretty much like five or six shot the boss, which is really cool. And as you can see, now that we're level six, we can move on to the medium uh, dungeon. So uh, that'll be really cool. So uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we are in the medium one. Um, these creatures are harder. As you can see, they have 80 health instead of 30. 
and it's gonna be a little bit harder because sometimes I can two shot them, sometimes I can one shot them. It really depends on how much damage my um, my damage counter wants to do. So you know, because as long as you have a certain amount of power, um, your damage decides on like, oh, I want to do damage on a scale of 70 to 80 and uh yeah so sometimes it'll get 80 sometimes it'll get 70. you, you know what i'm saying right yeah. um so what i think i'm gonna do is since all the dungeons are the same like literally all the dungeons up until um i mean i mean like all the difficulties are on the same dungeon see like there's easy medium hard Insane and Nightmare, yeah. Um, nightmare being the hardest, obviously. On Nightmare, you can find something called a Legendary Weapon, which is uh, a really good weapon, has really good stats. It's better than any other weapon, has a lot of upgrades on it. Like, a lot of upgrade, max upgrades that you can put on it. See, this has this sword right here has a maximum of six upgrades, as you can see right there. So, the Legendary will probably be like 30 upgrades when the rest of the weapons are like 20. That's just an example, that's just an example. But, um, yeah. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna complete this dungeon, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just do a montage of me collecting loot. I'm just gonna go grinding, you know. You know how it is. And I'll tell you if I get a fireball or not, you know. So, uh, yeah, let the montage commence. Well, don't let the montage do this. Because, um, don't let the montage commence because we don't, I forgot to explain why I'm doing the montage. Because, yeah, as I said earlier, all the difficulties are on the same dungeon until next dungeon. Then the difficulties are the same as that dungeon. So, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting dangerously low in health. So, yeah, um. Now let the montage commence now that I explained why. Alright. See you then. I played it in a sense A feel of discontent I'm finally facing it all Fearless <laughs> After grinding a bit, um, we've gotten quite a few weapons, so yeah, that's pretty uh, nice. So let's. Uh, for some reason, my skin is glitched. Just not showing the normal one like him. But uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and show what we got. So first, we got the iron helmet, which we got at the start. Um, we have the blue wizard robe, which is a very lucky drop that we got because I am in fact a mage, and wizard falls into the mage category. So, um, I max that out in spell power. Um, then we have the Apprentice Staff. We have the Apprentice Staff, um, which does 27 spell power. 
uh, damage, and it's uh, really good. So, uh, for our skills, we have my regular fireball, um, and for my other one, I found this one. It's called the Arcane Spray. It's a really good one because, let me just show you what it does, but first I have to go into another game because I can't show you what the skills do. So yeah, I showed you um, everything, but uh, now to show you the skills. So you know the fireball that goes like this, you know, already know that. Um, now here's for this spell, this one. It's a really uh, cool one. Um, it does multiple damage of like uh, 125 damage. It does your fireball, but it does that like fireball, fireball, fireball. Fireball, like that, as much damage as your fireball. Well, indicate the damage that the fireball does is fireball. So, let's say I activate the skill. Every time I say fireball, is is uh, you know is how much the fireball damage does. Here, fireball, 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 fireball. And it's, uh, yeah, so that would total up to like 800 damage or something like that because mine does like 160, 150. I don't know, somewhere around there. Um, so yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave off this episode because this is me playing for like an hour, me taking a break for some time too, because, uh, yeah, I, I, I really didn't, I really was kind of tired, um, because I've played this game so many times that I was like, oh, I have to play something for my channel. Well, I mean, I wanted to play it, um, it's just this, since I've played it too much, uh, because I have like two accounts that are, no, three accounts that are over level 100, and like seven other ults on this game. Uh, I've just played the game so much that if I play it for too long, um, I just kind of lose interest, so I just kind of had to play, you know? So uh, I think that's where I'm going to leave it off this episode. Uh, yeah, and I'll uh, see you guys later. Uh, keep your heads high, kings and queens. Uh, Reaper out.